of absolute solidarity of us as lesbian women there. And we had a wonderful sort of camaraderie. I'm a, a woman's lover, I'm another woman's mom, I'm a woman's daughter naturally. And if ever I need a friend upon a woman, I'll depend. It's the lesbian in me. So I was a member of a lesbian mothers group. And when there was going to be a march against what was going to become Clause 28, it was Section 28 at the time, we decided that we would go on the march as lesbian mothers because we wanted to show that we were real families and we did exist. It's important when children do have problems to understand that often these problems aren't to do with having lesbian parents, it's to do with how society reacts to these children having lesbian parents. I'm a lesbian mother, um, my daughter's 24 now, and some of those experiences are combined and it's really lovely to see them on the screen. It's not often that we see films about us. It's actually it's socially a lot in that because unless you seek out these kinds of stories you're not going to come across them at all in any kind of mainstream media. Hannah's an only child and um, when she was growing up um, her father and I made, were always very conscious that we wanted her to be around lots of children so she used to have lots of sleepovers and friends that used to come and stay for weekends and I was worried that when I came out and the divorce uh, happened that some of these families might not allow Hannah's friends suddenly to come and have the usual uh, weekend sleepover so I did do quite a bit of prep behind the scenes I have to say, you probably don't realise talked to a lot of the other mums, um, explained my situation. <laughs> Nobody, I don't think any of your friends ever stopped coming around, did they? I, I think I was kind of hyper aware of hiding my mum's sexuality, actually at school. Um, that was a really big deal and it's something I still kind of feel guilty about because something that was so natural at home, uh, but then becoming more and more aware of the homophobia that was outside. And like it was kind of highlighted in the documentary, there were so many times where you'd ask, can't you try and test the water and see if someone would be comfortable with coming home um, into that kind of household? And there were times where it really wasn't okay. <laughs> it's quite, um, it's made me think actually, as, as a sort of, you know, having parented um, Henry, thinking about how much we thought about that. And I'm not sure that we did necessarily think about it as much as we should have done at the time. Thank you very much for organising it.